Welcome back to another episode of Harmonious at Lunch, the show that fuels your business success. I'm Brandon Gano, your host and guide through the world of harmonious business growth. Today, we're unlocking powerful strategies with industry experts to help your business thrive. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or executive, you are in the right place. Join me and our incredible guest today on the journey to clarity, growth, and success. It is time to revolutionize your approach to business. Let's dive in with another episode of Harmonious at Lunch. We're back with a super cool episode today. Check out this topic. It is how to grow and maintain a Facebook group that does over $3 million a year without paid ads. That is a big claim, and I can't wait to tear this apart and dive in. I have a fantastic guest with me today. Chris is the CEO of a company called Flowchat. We're going to hear way more about that, but Chris, first and foremost, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. What's up, Brandon and everyone? Uh, glad to hang out with you all. Yeah, this is going to be fun. So it, the, the title or the topic for the episode is a massive claim, $3 million from a Facebook group. First and foremost, what, how is that even possible without without driving people there with ads? Like, what was what was the theory behind creating the Facebook group to create sales? Well, w- listen, Brandon, I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else. But uh, I jump in. So first of all, don't okay. put me in that box, right. okay? <laughs> that was an that was an awesome one up that I did not anticipate coming. <laughs> And and just just for everyone like out there to be to be like really clear, you mentioned like you know three three million a year. Uh, it's it's over three million in sales like total so far in the last two and a half years. Okay, uh, so we are we are doing over a million alive. a year. No no no, no. like it, I just like for for full intake because like when I see like other you know lines and stuff out there, uh, I'm like nah, that's, I don't know. Like I, I really want to say it how it is, and and I know that fits into kind of some of the things we wanted to talk about today is just high high integrity and and treating people the way they you know we like to be treated and approach them the way we want to be approached. And uh, we are doing you know over uh, seven figures a year in sales. Like we're doing well over a million in sales uh, per, per year without paid ads. And so all that's true. It's just two and a half years in, we've passed the three three million mark and looking to continue to scale and grow. And um, your question is like. How did it start? Um, well, we've done paid ads. We've done summits and challenges and webinars and VSLs and funnels and all all the things. And all of them are fantastic. Uh, some people are like, this is the way and that sucks. And some of that's a marketing angle. And I get it. Um, I love all things that bring you know quality new customers. Like I ain't hating over here. <laughs> um, for us, we're like, um, well, we could do all of the work and planning and marketing and copy all the things like, but what if we just talk to people? Like, what if we just message them and be like, listen, I've got, I've got a particular set of skills <laughs> and, uh, and it's like, no, but like, here's the market that I serve. Here's the problem that I solve when, when you're really clear on that. And we were, and we are, um, here's the you know type of result we can generate in this amount of time. And here's how we do it plainly. Like we're doing it through, uh, direct message campaigns. We're doing it through engaging with social uh, and content. And if that's something that fits the way that you want to sell and, and, you know, grow your business, your product, like we're the right fit. And there's X amount of people that said yes. And then, you know, they, uh, we, at the time before our flowchat.com, our software company. Now we are running a mastermind. It's 25 grand, uh, per, per spot. We'd bring on 15 to 20 businesses at a time. Uh, for a 90 day cycle. And then we'd have nine months of, you know, weekly support if they want to jump on a call because things change and evolve and scale. And hey, not not how do I build a team? How do I manage a team now? What are the SOPs? And what are, you know, so we would install our sales processes and SOPs that we've used over the years to build our own companies. Um, Sean, you know, our our CMO and and co-founder, he sold over a hundred million dollars worth of product and service. Uh, product and services in his in his 20 plus year career so far our cto bruno is you, you know run different different programs and also you know sells which is rare for a developer to like even attempt both but his competency is definitely in developing he's built the back end of massive of companies um you know in his cur- in his career so far and then there's me <laughs> um no, so you know, and I, you know, have my own, you know, uh, track record of of build building company as well, and we have we have we built and sold our first software company, uh, November fifteenth of two thousand nineteen, and 
uh, learned a lot. Um, it was a blessing. It was a profitable company. We exited and and we we did make money from it. It wasn't like a windfall ten million dollar check, but uh, it was definitely a blessing. And we also learned that we didn't understand multiples and expansion revenue and like all these other angle things that would have made us so much more money. And so we're like, you know what? Software's cool. Let's do this again. But it comes back to your question of how do we grow? And we just thought, what if we just reached out to the people that we serve directly and be just be direct and and not like pitchy or salesy, like, hey, this is our thing, buy it. It's like we've taken the time to to qualify communities and groups that we will serve at a high level. We've thought through what the customer journey, no like and trust process is going to be like. And and if, for anyone listening, watching, I mean, it's we can we can slice and dice this all different types of ways. You can put this in three simple buckets. It's one engagement and two nurture and then three convert engage, nurture and convert. And that's not the whole customer journey. That's just the first part, right? I like to liken this from being going from cold to sold, but the full journey is going from cold to sold to gold. And the gold is in the retention and the resell and the word of mouth and the goodwill that spreads faster than any paid campaign or organic campaign out there. So, um, anyway, so th th that's a, those are a couple thoughts, you know, for the initial question. No, I love that. And it's such a, it's such a clear picture of the path to, and the intentionality behind it is what's most important for me because you see all, all over the internet all the time, people, I mean, literally I could pull up my DMS right now on Facebook and I have 14 messages that just say, hi, like that's, yeah. that is not what you're talking about here. So I kind of want to unpack and, and then dive into how Flowchat can like streamline this process because I'm jacked up to use the software. Full disclosure, I, I am, we are about to use the software in our company and I can't wait to see the results. Um, but that's not why we're here. We're here because it's a very cool product and you've run and built an amazing company. And I want to dissect that. The engagement piece. For, for those of you listening who have never been on Tinder, much like myself, Chris, I can't speak for you. How do you slide into somebody's DMs and not come across like a total sleaze ball and just totally scare them away? Okay. Like, like, give me some pointers here. Rule rule number one: no sliding. No <laughs> sliding. Okay. Ah, <laughs> ah, sliding into the DM. No. Um, no, I, I I get the term, uh, and I like I like your hook there. Will Brandon join Flow Chat on this podcast? Stay tuned. I feel Stay like there's tuned. a good hook in there somewhere. <laughs> Um, so yeah, like in terms of, of, you know, th think about how you want to be approached. Think about how someone's approaching. A lot of times the best market research is going to your own inbox, go to your own message request section of your inbox, read through the messages. If you don't, uh, have it or, or haven't in a while and just like, don't think about it. just kind of scroll through there. What grabs your attention? Why? What turns you off and, and drives you nuts, annoys you, pisses you off, and why? And here's the good news. It's very clear what almost everyone's doing. Hey, first name. Hey, first name. Hey, first name. Hi, how are you? Who are you? I don't have, why are you, don't talk to me like that. You know, like that drives me nuts when people ask me that. Like I never answer and I know I won't, you know, but all this being said, think about it this way, that if you're, if you're using as an outbound strategy. I'm not, I'm not again, I love inbound, but I'm also not against outbound. You know why it works? Cold calling, cold emailing, direct mail, all of that's cold outbound. And it works when you have a, when you do it with intelligence, love and creativity. And so how do we do this? Well, number one, be different, be different. Don't just say, Hey, first name. <laughs> like you're, it's like, this is so bad, right? That's why it's so easy to compete with. It's actually good news that it's so terrible. That's great news easy to compete with. It's very easy to stand out. You want to hear. So, so what do you say then, Chris, then what do you, what's the solution? You know, wise guy, what do you got? All right. You don't want to know the highest converting message, like highest response rate for initial message. What do you got? It's the sales and marketing wizardry, Brandon. It's a Ooh, wizardry. It's a compliment. There's <laughs> nothing crazy. to do. It's not, it's not a framework. It's not a tactic. It's not persuasion and it's not influence. It's, it's gratitude. It's uh, appreciation. Um, it's it's a different uh, for all for all my like energy folk out there, right? It's a different vibration or energy. I don't know. It's more attractive. 
Um, and so you get a better response rate. And it's not saying like, uh, it's got to, it can't be, it's got to be genuine, right? So it can be something around their content. It could be something around, you know, anything that you, you appreciate about them. Hey, like appreciate how you're showing up in the world. Keep being you rock an emoji, you know, heart. It could be something that simple, right? It like every week we're meeting, you know, we have a whole community around this. Like anyone listening, watching this, like you're not alone. Uh, you know, entrepreneurship can be lonely, but it doesn't have to be. And, uh, it's very, it's very easy to, to get, you know, I got to do this. I'm working all the time and detach yourself from, from community, your neighbors, your, your, you know, local church, your, you know, kid birthday part, like your friend circle, they don't, they don't understand what it's like to be an entrepreneur, the demands. And, and it's, and how do you explain, you can't explain it to some, explain being a parent to someone that's not a parent, you know, like they'll kind of get it, but they won't get it you know, until you are. And that's, that's is what it is. I would not be here, Brandon, talking to you if I w didn't have the pleasure of finding out about masterminds. I was like, what? There's like these secret entrepreneur meetings that I like, everyone runs these massive businesses and have families and actually do well that exists. Like I didn't, I don't come from this. I didn't know that, but we've gone through some really hard times where I'm like, there's no way we make it through this. And somehow we do, and and part of that community piece. So shows I appreciate, you know, people like yourself that do shows like this, that produce content like this, because uh, someone's gonna listen. To, someone's probably listening to this, you know, uh, you know, now on the replay or whatever. And oh my God, I needed to hear that today. Yeah, you're not alone. You're not alone. And keep going, uh, keep going. And when we reach out to people in a genuine way, it's felt. Mess it, you know, what's created from the heart is felt by the heart message sent message received type type of thing and when you're in that pocket things people don't un, un, it, things grow is what i was going to say people don't realize that organic compounds even if you only reach out to 10 people a day consistently five days a week you know it was 10 people i got to work within the window here 10 people today and then there's the 10 people from yesterday and then the new 10 people and then 10 people uh you know, the 20 people from yesterday and the 10 new people. And so that pattern compounds. And if you do the job right, the people that you're touching, maybe not all of them buy, but but a percentage of them talk and they share you with others and things grow faster than than you anticipated. Yeah, that's so interesting too. And the reason, if we want to get super meta right now, if the reason you are here and the reason we're talking about your software is because your business partner your business partner's profile. I understand you guys are a big company. It may not have been him, but your business partner's profile reached out on my page with a compliment. You you guys practice oh, what you preach. There we I go. Love. He's <laughs> literally complimented my um my content. Said I love I love what you're putting out. I love the energy you bring. And more importantly, which I I want to just highlight because you're right and you said it. It can't just be like a, a vanilla sort of generic thing because you can feel that he complimented and asked a question about a specific video. Uh, or piece of content I created. So I was like, this, whether it's automated or not, feels very, very real. And that was it. There was no, do you want to talk about whatever? Or do you want to buy my product? It was compliment, engagement, ask a question about it. And then we got to talking. So that to me, you just explained step one. And you said, we're not using the word sliding, which I love to make fun of. So I might still use yeah, the yeah, word yeah. sliding. No, but okay. <laughs> step two is the engagement and the conversation. So how do you like what's the what's the process or or the thought process behind engaging in that conversation to eventually warm them up to a sales conversation or a next step conversation if you will how do you guys uh you know teach that process or go about it yourself yeah and and um so a couple answers here one is and, and this is just guiding like we have so many free resources like on our youtube channel frankly there's we do a lot of trainings on exactly what you asked about um and it's it's just our the flow chat like channel on youtube and and it we call it the four hinge points um and this is really important here's why this is important because it's a it's a spectrum back to my my vanna white uh you know diagram hand diagrams here um, for those of you listening, we're so sorry. Oh. <laughs> He's got his hands up on the screen. <laughs> Visualize a spectrum. And, you know, on one side of the spectrum, I'll, I'll talk through it, you know, visually, if that makes sense too. So on one end of the spectrum, there's the, 
hey, what's up? You have a pulse and I have a product. Here's my link. What do you say? You know, it's like, all right, so I don't, I hate you and I don't want to buy anything from you, right? Um, there, there's that side of the extreme side of the spectrum. And the other side of the spectrum, we're best friends. The sun is shining. All the colors are so bright and we talk about everything and no one buys anything and there's no action or no improvement and we're just talk, 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 talk. talk. Okay, obviously we don't want to go on that end of the spectrum because that's not the point of this type of conversation. Look, like if you're at the holiday family party, like there's different forms of relationship building. This one is very strategic to uh, building trust and and um, helping facilitate a decision, right? It's qualifying and then making a decision whether it's yes or no, but it's making helping make decisions. So what's the what's the angle here? And the spectrum, we if you kind of now visualize the middle of the spectrum, we tilt towards the more direct side. So we're somewhere in there. What does that look like? That looks about looks like two to three back and forth messages. Okay. So there's the initial outreach, right? Where what the only goal, our goal is not to sell anybody in the first message. The goal is to get a response. So what message can we optimize around to get a response? Because we're it's cold. So, okay, boom. Now we got the response. Now our next very clear mission is to nurture. It's to build, it's how do I serve this person, add value. This could be a PDF, a lead magnet, a community, um, and a referral or intro. These can be a VSL, could be all different types of things. Now, a lot of people screw this up though, Brandon, because they say, oh, well, here's here's a lead magnet for you and here's a video for you, da, da, da. What you just gave that person is another to-do list, another to-do item. They're already overwhelmed. You just asked them to do more things. I, you know, I don't like you. I don't want to remember you or talk to you or, you know, or I'm overwhelmed when I, I'm associating you with overwhelm. Okay. But if you modify that towards, I saw that you were in this industry, happened to see this new article released. And on page three, it offered the answer to the question you were asking. Whoa, that's specific. Or I just released a new podcast episode, and if you skip to, here's the link, and if you skip to minute seven and a half, the the industry expert you were just talking about shared their insight. That's interesting. So now you gave somebody, now it feels like you are guiding me in a direction of curated, intelligent thought, and I go specific to a thing and I get what I want right away. That's not overwhelming. So we're only, so there's two to three interactions. I just shared one example of what not to do and one example of what to do in, in a conversation of why one doesn't convert and why one does convert. And uh, the, like that, that big shift can like change everything. And if you just repeat that pattern, even 10 times consistently a day, things drastically change. Um, Cause now you have that compounding growth system in your business. That's so cool. And I think that's where people get hung up too, because we want to, we want to see results because we're all goldfish in the world today and we want seven second everything. Yeah. So we send out these mass messages, whether it's a paragraph selling somebody in the first message or it's just a high, I have a variety of both in my inbox. Yeah. The, I, I think we're like, no, at least I'll get a result from that. So I can just do volume and it's a numbers game versus what you're talking about 10 10 doesn't seem feasible because when we think about our conversion metrics, if you will, we're like, I only hear back from 0.006% of people. I can't just do 10 a day. But what you're saying is the complete opposite. You're building a relationship. And even if three of the 10 answer, you can, you have so much time to go and research those things and build that relationship because you're not wasting it on spamming people. And, and here, here's the deal. Like, so let's put yeah, 100% what you're saying, and let's put some context around this, because anyone listening, watching, this is really important for you right now. What is your monthly goal? If I'm talking to somebody and they want to sell 500 bracelets, do not one-on-one -on -one DM people. You, you can't, the volume required and respond, it's just going to, it sucks. It's not the right strategy for the what you're trying to accomplish right now, if you reach out to 10 to 20, I mean, you can do more than 10. I'm just, I'm just saying, if you only did this, people vastly underestimate how powerful it really is. And look, I'm not, I'm the guy doing that. Uh, I think our profile as of this recording 
is is doing about 12 uh, consistent outreaches with my Facebook profile per day. Right. And, and we want to always do as much as we can, but, but look, Facebook throttles things. We can't, we can't go in there and send a hundred messages. Uh, some, some accounts there's variation, but that's not, that's not the, the, that's the exception, not the rule. Okay. And, and again, at the time of this recording, my team is operating my profile at 12 new a day. There's additional follow-up and messages and comments, and there's more activity going on, but new friend requests and new messages, it's only 12 a day, and that generate can generate seven figures a year in sales. And we're not even high ticket. It's not like we're locking in you know, 50K, 60K. The 25K thing, that was before Flowchat. That was the sales mastermind uh, that we were running, but now we're selling software, a monthly or, or annual license. So we're not, by definition, high ticket. And uh, it can generate that return. So, this all being said, um, you, you know, it, it's it's highly uh, underestimated how powerful it can be. But the power of consistency, and you need quality systems to to keep it light, like so it doesn't feel overwhelming. I got to do this thing every single day because if it's too painful, you just won't do it. Yeah, and that's good advice too. Like know know what you're after, know your goals, as you said, because. Um, you know, quite honestly, that's why that's why it took us so long to join Flowchat because we were working a goal for Q1, and now we're at the point, at least at the time of this recording, our goals we accomplished those, and it's time to develop a new set of goals. We're COO, so we get super nerdy on the numbers and the system yeah, and all that crap. So there we go. Um, so take the time to build a strategy around whatever the tool is. If it's this, fantastic. If it's something else, just make sure you have that concrete strategy and process to implement it and see effective results because that's where shiny object syndrome comes in. And, and you just, you think it's the next, next best thing you do it and you see no results and then it's crap, right? It's not your process is crap. And I hate to be the one to tell you that that's not Chris's words. Those are my words. So don't take it out of him. Um, but Chris, I did put, I put the website on the screen. It'll be in the show notes as well down below wherever you're listening or watching and bonus told you we're upgrading. This episode will air about a month after we've started using Flowchat. So I'm going to put my results in the comments. If you don't Ooh. believe us, if you don't believe this episode, we're going to put his money where my mouth is in the show notes <laughs> and see, see the results and see what you get from it. But I would love for you to go to the website and check it out. If nothing else, just for the training and the bus behind the scenes and the how-to of effective sales. You guys clearly know what you're doing. So Chris, I really want to thank you for, for coming and sharing all this wisdom on, on this podcast. Yeah, Brandon, thanks. Thanks for holding some space for us to come out here again. Like, uh, yeah, flowchat.com, like you're saying our YouTube channel, there's literally hundreds of videos. It's all free. We have a free Facebook group. We put resources in there, SOPs and training videos and feature releases. And, uh, we we're we're here to serve. Look, like I'm, I just celebrated 10 years of marriage uh, last year. I've got three kids. Uh, I've been employing myself and others the last 13 years of my life. Like, uh, I am an entrepreneur, uh, it turns out. <laughs> and uh, I say that kind of jokingly, but I, I, I think it was like a few years ago, I was like, I, th I think I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I didn't really, uh, anyway. Um, so like I, I'm, we we serve other entrepreneurs. We're a sale, B2B sales tool. And I, I, I get, I know what it feels like to see all the different strategies and, you know, things out there. And I mean, look, we're, we're booking qualified calls for 34 to 80 bucks a call. Um, yeah, well, Chris, I need, I need 500 calls a month. Okay. Um, scale, we break at scale like that. You know, we're not going to be the best path for, for that right now. Um, there's ways we can create that, but it's just a, a little bit more work than you want to do. But look, if you're looking for 10 to 30 to 50 to a hundred qualified, very cost effective booked calls or, or like new, you know, deals a month. This is a very viable strategy you don't want to overlook. And do you need 500 because you're not building relationships and 10 really qualified would work for you? Or you think about it. And and that that's where, you know, you said like, oh, only 0 0.06 people. Were so well, when, when you're, um, when you've already curated your list of who you're talking to and, and it's niche and you know how to approach them and talk to them, you get way more traction. You get way more uh, uh, nurturing's easier. The sales cycle is shorter. You don't need, and it's way less noisy. 
when you, oh, I need way bigger numbers. It's like, well, it, and now, now you can't even connect with people at those volumes yeah. the way that you want to. But when you give yourself permission to actually do less than what you think is required, that's when you start getting more uh, and, it, and it compounds on itself. And, and look, again, I'm, I'm trying to call this out for exactly where it fits. It's great for the solopreneur. It's great for the small business that's doing maybe, you know, you know, 50,000 a year, 250 to like 3 million a year in sales. That's where great. When we start doing like seven to 10, 20 plus million a year in sales, and we have some, you know, eight figure entrepreneurs like in, in flow chat, you know, I hear where they're winning and I hear where they're griping about. I'm like, I get it. Like we're like, you know, freaking go do more paid ads to uh, compound on top of the organic that we've created together. Um, we're really sweet in that pocket of, you know, hundred to like hundred thousand a year to 2 million a year in sales with that no team to small team. This is a really pound for pound, powerful way to prospect and build a business. That's fantastic. I love that you're here. I love that you are authentic. You're transparent and you're not shiny objects and, and over promising under delivering. So I love talking to real people, building real companies and building real relationships. Thank you again for being here and for you watching, listening, wherever you are, first and foremost, are you subscribed? Did you, why are you not subscribed if you're listening to this? If you got this far, what, is, what are you doing? So hit the bread button, subscribe and join us so you can hear more stories like this and help grow your business with this bite-sized information. Thanks for listening to another episode of Harmonious at Lunch and we'll see you.